And here's a why not. Okay. Whoa, this guy has a cut Leo. And I'm pretty sure Cut Leo in this game is the replacement for Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drop. I'm pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Eternal Order. Shiny Lock. I hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like the video, of course, if you enjoy, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm continuing where I left off, which is basically in this game, mid shiny hunt right now, as we kind of work our way to the next area, the next gym, and everything in between. But I do have to tell you guys something about a really, really cool giveaway I have going on right now that I think you guys are gonna dig if you guys didn't hear about it. But I teamed up with the online shopping tool extension. Basically, all you gotta do is check the link in the description. You just install it to your desktop browser. It takes two seconds, dude, it's so fast. And every time one of the A-Drive Army members does that, we add $5 to our giveaway prize, right? And we're already at over $1,000 at the time I'm recording this. And then I'm gonna do a massive giveaway at the end of next month. And the beautiful thing is this online shopping tool extension actually saves you money by finding you coupons and scouring the internet for the best deals. It's seriously a no-brainer and you're getting a chance to win massive as we add to this huge prize. So definitely be sure to do that. So check the description below for the link. And again, it's totally free. So no reason not to. I'm gonna continue grinding to try to see if I can find this shiny here. And then from there, I think, um, I think we'll just press onward and get our next badge. Oh, I got the Bronzor! Okay. Finally, 134. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm a big Bronzor guy. I think Bronzong's an incredible Pokemon, so. Um, let's see here. I think I can probably rock Tomb without too much of an issue. Yeah, that should be a okay. Gotta worry about a psychic move. He's just gonna hypnosis me. I'll chip him away and then hopefully catch this thing. 134, so not terrible. Hey, I caught it. Liberty going to the PC for now, but. Very good Pokemon. Steel Psychic, always a good typing. Um, I do think that, I think the two types are a little bit nerfed in this game, but we'll have to see. Oh, <laughs> just randomly fighting this trainer and he sends out a Gloom and it's a very cool shiny Gloom. Uh, I'm gonna just bounce and destroy a soul, but uh, I'm working my way through the rest of the desert so I can kind of get to the next town and of course I get put to sleep. They really just want to make my life Miserable, but uh, I got two Pokemon sleeping now. I think I can go into luck here and just aerial ace. Does have the sharp beak, doesn't care about Mega Drain. Should be in pretty good shape. That gloom looks so good though. Uh, I love that trainers can just randomly have shinies as well. Uh, it's aerial ace, so this should one shot. Yeah, that's not even like gloom, that's for sure. What else you got? Any more grass types? Pachirisu, yeah, probably switching. Um, we can go. I was about to just go B drive. I think I could. It's level 22. So we should be fine. Charm. Eh. A little annoying. Um, let's go for. I'll just bug bite it in case it has a berry. I feel like it's got a berry. No? Swift? Yeah, we're eating this up though. Like, even with the attack drop. Another bug bite into a Fel Stinger will be solid here. We take that pretty well. And I think Fel Stinger will KO here. Yeah, it does. So I get the boost back, which kind of removes what Charm did. And he's trying to learn Leer, no thank you. What else he got? It is a Tranquil. I got a switch. Um, I think Mirror probably is really good against Tranquil. Shouldn't be able to do much to me. Air Cutter, this might hurt a little bit. Yeah, he crits me. So it did a decent amount. We can go for Fake Out and then maybe Snarl. Probably makes the most sense. And I get the Shell Bow Recovery. And the Snarl should be good here. Like, he's gonna hit me with Air Cutter, but I know how much a crit does. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're chillin'-ish, uh, right? Like, we're chillin'-ish. We can live. I gotta switch now, though. Um, I mean, Pyre can definitely take an Air Cutter, even if it crits, and then we'll knock him out with Quick Attack. Ooh, Dazzling Gleam. Dog, he had Dazzling Gleam that whole time. Wow. I don't know if it would've done more than Air Cutter crit, so I think it, it's fine, but, jeez. Jeez. All right, we're good. Beat him. And I made it to the Fiery Meadow. So a new location for us. Let's take a look around. Maybe there's a gym here, I'm not sure. And maybe my game's gonna crash. All right, let's take a look if the Larvesta from the last episode was shiny. Oh, no way! Is it always shiny? Bro, bro, is it always shiny? I have no idea. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I'm gonna ask in the Discord. Look at this on screen, this is real life. I said, is the Larvesta given to you always shiny? Negative, nope, no, the one I got was not sh We really just got lucky. I am the bug master, if you ever doubted it. 
it has been proven once again. That is very cool. And we have a Levitate Liberty as well with Adamant Nature. Very good. Good stuff there. I got Levitate on you. Magic Guard on you. Moxie on you. Okay. Our box is actually insane. Sweet stuff. Oh, a Shiny Sun Flora. Very nice. I'm just out here taking on some trainers in the fiery meadow, looking for some cool stuff. I found a honey tree up ahead. And then we run into that. And a skip blue. Oh, this is beautiful for luck. Easy XP for luck. Getting him trained up. Our level cap's 30 right now, so we're getting close. Which means the gym's probably up ahead as well. This is just a nice and easy trainer for me. Thank you very much for all that XP. And B drop gets pin missile, which is 25. Two to five. I think you still keep bug bite. I think you still keep bug bite. Unless he gets mega horn. I think we're keeping bug bite for now. And we get some citrus berries, which are actually really nice. And let's take a peek what the tree has in store for us. I would love Heracross or Scyther. It's Slack off. Oh, I got Slack off as my encounter. Okay. I, I didn't even really get a chance to look in the tree. I just kind of stumbled upon the slack off but honestly it's not a big deal i'll take the slack off maybe it has a, a busted ability in this game sometimes fan made games do that so you just never know i'll hit him with a fake out we'll weaken him a little bit and then catch this thing and we got it after a couple fake outs and maybe like i said maybe just maybe this thing king charles here will have a good ability when he evolves instead whoa this guy has a cut leo and i'm pretty sure cut leo in this game is the replacement for curlia if you have a Galade. So instead of it going Ralts, Curly, and Galade, it goes Ralts, Cutly, and Galade, which is pretty sick. So we just got to see that. Uh, here's a Gotharita. This thing is dark and psychic, so they changed Gotharita's typing. And we'll just destroy it with a uh, Struggle Bug. Very nice. And what are we learning? We're learning Poison Powder. Do I want Poison Powder? I mean, I don't think I need Hidden Power right now. Let's actually go Poison Powder. That might actually come in clutch. And we got a Mischievous. I think I could just go for... Oh, this thing's fairy right now. Fairy and ghost. So I'll just aerial ace it. He's going to disarming voice. It's not very effective. So bug does resist fairy in this game. A nice little buff for, uh, for the bug types, of course. And here's a why not. Okay. So I do have physical moves and special moves. And I have poison powder. So let's actually... Oh, I missed. He goes for counter. I don't, I don't know if struggle bug just KOs. I missed again. And mirror coat, so he's just switching back and forth. There we go. I actually hit the poison powder this time. And he's gonna mirror coat. I don't know if it's worth guessing. Like, I could side beam, I guess. He goes for counter, okay. I think struggle bug KOs at this point. I think so. Yeah, alright, we're good, we're good, we're chilling. Alright, good stuff. We beat the psychic. Oh, he's gonna give me a Thunderstone too. Oh, thank you. And we find TM59 Incinerate, which is actually pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna use that right away. It allows us to swap off Flame Wheel for Incinerate. We can burn off berries. And this is actually the Rangers department, and I guess they give you quests here. Oh, and he gives me Protect, thanks to the TM. This is the Rangers department. You're the trainer who stopped Team Arsenic from robbing a bank in Walshin. If so, you can help a few people by completing some Ranger tasks. You'll be rewarded, of course. Are you interested? Sure. Since you haven't done it, you'll give it an easy one first. The trainer here has lost her spoink inside the adamantine desert, and she needs her help. If you manage to find it, please bring it back to our department. All right, I'll go find a spoink. Oh, that was so easy. Found your spoink. Wait, do I have to chase him the whole way? Found him again. And he's just gonna keep running the way. Oh, there he is again. Looks like some trap inch causing the spoink some issues. Hello, spoink. I'll save you, don't worry. Oh, it's a double battle against trap inch. They're both level 25. That's. Actually kind of serious. I should be okay though, given what I have on the field. Um, I can always go for Hidden Force into one and fake out the other. Let's not fake out myself. Uh, that means only one of them can attack, and then I basically... I should knock out the other one, because it's a trap inch, right? Good attack stat, but otherwise pretty weak. And then we're in good shape, because I just, you know, hit the other one with a Hidden Force, and we're chilling. And I guess I'll Shadow Sneak too, just to get him... So Ooh, the buy. But this should knock him out. Yeah, mirror, mirror on the wall, destroying things. That's it. That's the old saying. Good stuff. We'll save this boink. Hello. Oh, okay, I caught Spoink. Yes, I saved you. What do you give me? A bike pass. Oh, okay, I get the bike. That's cute. Good job. Here's your pay. I got a protein, calcium, and carbos. And there's another mission for me. Daycare center in Paradise Valley. A trainer's left five spheres, but they escaped and gone loose. So I need to go find this fields. Okay. 
Yeah, so we actually haven't made it to the daycare anyway, but I can go get my bike, so I guess I'll just go do that real quick. And here we are, we get the bike pass, we get hooked up with the bicycle, which is good. And now if I want the bike, I can use it. And we're actually back in the Cilia Tunnels, which we were in previously, so... I don't think I get an encounter here, it's just like the Cilia Tunnels has just expanded a bunch of places. I just stole the Pokemon of some jump who came here earlier, let's see how they do without him. Who is this? Oh, this is just a random outcast. I thought for some reason this was going to be, uh... You know, one of those, uh, you know, evil team members, but I think we'll be okay. Like, Brawly one-shots us with Power Up Punch and then just destroys everything else. Let's get up the rocks, though. Okay, I see you with that. Power Up Punch will just destroy this thing. It's 4x super effective. I get plus one now, and then I don't see anything else want to take this thing on. A Cac turn. Yeah, you get Power Up Punch, too, and you're gone. Easy XP for Brawly here. You'll love to see it. That's like a solid 5, 600. Here comes a Tentacool. Uh, what's my hidden force? It's fire. So we rock tomb plus two rock tomb easy And what else you got and a volibee? I just rock tomb this too easy. Look at that Brawly is so good with power punch man Are you perhaps a Pokemon trainer that collects gym badges? You might be interested in challenging expert Pokemon breeders an expert Pokemon breeder or just expert breeder is a trainer That's a master in raising Pokemon like gym leaders specialize in a certain type expert breeders specialize in a specific egg group they can be found on certain routes and they'll only battle you if you defeat all the other trainers on said route. If you manage to feed an expert breeder, they'll reward you with a rare item that's useful in battle. I specialize in the mineral egg group. I am an expert breeder of Paradise Valley, which is right after this exit. If you're able to feed all the trainers on this route and wish to challenge me, I'll be at the end of the valley, right next to the daycare. Ooh, that sounds spicy. It sounds very spicy. I got two spheels, a ground gem, which could be useful. And this apparently is taking me to Tanelia. Oh, this was blocked off before. Okay. Very nice. So I got to find the rest of the spheels, though. But, yeah, I kind of want to find the rest of the spheels. I guess they're in all the different tunnels. And we made it to this new Paradise Valley place and found some Rindo Berries, which are for Grass-type moves. I do wonder if that's a representation of what could be coming in terms of the next gym. Nonetheless, I do get a new Shiny Hen, so let's take a look and see what we can find here in Paradise Valley. Could be some good Grass-types and things like that. I definitely want to check the tree. We'll see what's there. A penny that could be really cool. Uh, I'm not like the biggest blissy guy, but could be really strong Mancino, I'm less excited about that and we just picked up the silver powder Which could be really really good for B drive here who's holding the charcoal temporarily. We got some good stuff We're really starting to pick up some good moves here good items. Oh, this guy just hooked me up with the leaf stone too A lot of trainers giving me stones right now, which is super clutch. Ooh, Shiny Togepi is our Shiny for the route. Just 21 encounters. Not too bad. Uh, I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. Uh, I don't know why. I just didn't expect the Togepi, but Togekiss is a phenomenal Pokemon. This thing has Yawn. I'll take it. And I actually caught it. Disco the Togepi. Not too bad. I'll take quick Shinies too. That's been really nice today. All right, let's see if we can throw down against this Expert Breeder. Let's see, did I beat them all? I did not beat all the trainers, apparently. Oh, and the town's up ahead, too, so I guess I should go there. I can, you know, kind of get the PC. I must have missed a trainer, so we'll have to go back and see. Oh, this guy's great! He helps you level up your team. He all has a bunch of hippinis. Yeah, that's clutch, dude. Easy way to grind. They added grinding for this. That's so big, dude. Okay, now I think I can battle this guy. Yes, the mineral egg group. Let's see what you got, man. I'm excited for this one. I feel like this guy's gonna be tough, though. He's got six Pokemon. He's gonna leave it off with a nose pass, level 28. So I guess I kind of expected that. Um, I'm just gonna hit and force. He may have an electric move, but it's a nose pass, so I think I could live one. He just stealth rocks. I kind of figured that was gonna be the case. I'm gonna Dragon Raid in case he switches. And he's actually got a Custap Berry hidden force, but it doesn't do anything. Whew. Okay, so stealth rocks are up, which is very bad for my team. Here comes Magnemite. You already know I gotta switch. Um, I feel like Brawly's really good here. I do have Ground Gem on Shrimp, but I need to save him. Maybe actually this is a good time to go Pyre. Let's go Pyre, because I can incinerate Quick Attack. I do take Stealth Rock, though. Volt Switch. Oof. Yeah, that did a lot. And a Ball Toy. Yeah, this is already not going very well. This is already going very poorly. Okay. Uh, Shrimp comes in, takes Stealth Rocks. He goes for Sand Tomb, but it doesn't work. Perfect. And now I can go for Hidden Force. This should do a good amount. It does. It just knocks him out. All right. But the Magnemite comes in every time. And he gets to threaten me with Volt Switch. So that's the biggest issue right now. 
I mean, Brawly can come in. Yeah, maybe I go Brawly, because Brawly has decent special defense and doesn't take a lot to Stealth Rock, at least. There's the Volt Switch again. That's a, that thing's a problem, dude. Porygon, and he gets an attack boost. Okay, so I'm gonna fake out, and then I'm gonna go for the Power Up Punch. He could have Psy Beam, but I think this is still the play. I might, uh, he does have Psy Beam, but we live in, we live in. And I can knock him out with a Power Punch. So here's the thing. If the Magnemite has Sturdy, which I think he does, that's the biggest issue right now. It's coming back out. I think I have to just knock it out and sack something here. And I think it's Brawly. Because think about it, every time he Volt Switches, I take a ton of damage on something. I can only do that so many times. Luck takes half on entry. B Drive takes 75 or 25% on entry. Shrimps take another 25% on entry. I think I have to just go for it. And maybe he doesn't have Sturdy. Power Up Punch. He has Sturdy. There wasn't anything I could do, man. He had mirror shots. Yeah, dude. And of course, the one time, bro. So we lose him, unfortunately. A very big loss for us. We lose Brawly. He actually, he's Custab, dude. He's Custab. Why is he Custab? And he goes into Shedinja. Oh, he's Custab and goes into Shedinja. That's so rough, dude. Shadow Claw. Okay. I have to go for the Shadow Sneak here. In case he's Sash. He is Sash. And he Bug Bites me. He's gonna take my berry. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak again and hopefully knock him out this time. I do. It's the Vandalite, Shiny Vandalite. I need this thing to Shadow Sneak. Oh, this is actually really bad for me because I take Stealth Rock on like everything. I could go Shrimp and try to knock out the Vandalite, but he could have Freeze Dry. I don't wanna lose Mirror, dude. I really don't wanna lose Mirror. Uh, Shrimp could maybe come in, but I don't think that that's a good decision. I think I sack off Mirror here. Dude, I really liked Mirror. I think my play is I sack off Mirror, go for the Shadow Sneak, get damage off. Shrimp comes in, KOs, and then beats the Magnemite, and then we win with two losses. Ah, that's rough, dude. That's a rough battle for me. Either that or I sack off B-Drive, and then try to do the same thing with Shrimp. Who do I think is more valuable? I think, I think, I think uh, Mirror is more valuable than B-Drive. Oh, that's rough. Either way though, Shrimp may not KO. I think I actually have to go for this. I think I have to go for this. Maybe he doesn't attack. He's got weak armor. Oh boy, that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, I live though. He, he went for Water Pulse. That makes me want to go Shrimp. Maybe I can save him somehow. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't just save him. I'm gonna lose something. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Maybe... I go for Ground Gem. Glacial Air, he missed! I don't know what that is, but I'm Ground Gem boosted, Bulldoze. I drop his speed. I don't know what Glacial Air is. I don't know what Glacial Air is. Hidden Force, he water pulses, no confusion. Okay, I get rid of him. The Magnemite already used his Custap. Hidden Force, bro. Wow. I beat him, I better get a good item for this. Blunder Policy. It's a single use health item which highly raises the user's speed if it missed one of its attacks. Gellia's Gym is north side of the city if you're interested. Bro, that wasn't worth. That wasn't worth it. Not to lose Brawly. I thought I was gonna get something better than that. And we lose our second Pokemon Brawly, who was actually really good, dude, unfortunately. I'm just gonna grab a temporary Pokemon for now. I'll figure it out. I wanna see what the gym is first. I just don't wanna accidentally run into a trainer. I think I think we'll be okay. Let's just so see what the gym type is, and then I'll I'll make a team. This is Jardin, the bringer of elegance and beauty, and the gym's closed. So that doesn't really help me much. So I gotta figure that out now. Oh, I found a Sveal, that's cool. And I actually found the last Sveal, so I can go back and figure that out. And I just got TM94 Venishock. I guess that's cool. Oh boy, here we go. You old folk, why do you have to be so much more difficult than you need to be? I know you two have most knowledge about of anyone in the entire city. Where's your leader, Jarden, keeps his Pokemon? 
You evil lot, we'll never let you steal from our leader. Get out of our city while you can. Oh boy, they're gonna have to set the garden ablaze, they said, but luckily I'm here to stop the shenanigans. I am running a, a Pokemon down right now though. So that could be, you know, less than ideal, you know, running one down. But luckily for us, Shrimp is a beast and everyone else is level capped, so that's pretty solid. What do I do against you? Eh, I think I just attack, honestly. Fury Swipe shouldn't do too much to me. Eh, annoying, but let's see how much this does. Yeah, we'll just two-shot him, and he'll hopefully only hit me twice here, or three times. Eh, that's could have been worse. Okay, so I get through this trainer. Let's see what else you got. All right, grunt number two. Hopefully, I don't have to face all three at once, though. You've got a Z-Bat as well. We one-shot that last time, so I'm going to go for the same thing. But I'll probably switch out against the second Pokemon unless I can one-shot it. Let's see. It is a Magmar. Can do. Hidden Force. Good stuff. All right. Oh, uh, it looks it looks like I can actually leave. So I'm gonna go grab another Pokemon before I face what could be a boss battle here. Okay, so I trained up Liberty up to 27 just to have a Pokemon that was at a decent level. So let's see what we got here. Cecilia, what's this? I was so concentrated on my interrogation. I didn't realize that there was a brat who barged into this house. Oh, it's you. Loretta's such an idiot getting beaten by a kid like that. That doesn't matter now since I'll be the one to put an end to your little journey. All right, let's see what we got here then. Cecilia's kicking it off with a Subviper. Um, I get Intimidate, and then I think I just go for Bulldoze. Should be solid damage, yeah. Good damage. And it's gonna go for Glare and Paralyze me, but we won't get fully Paralyzed, so I'll just Bulldoze again. And it's just gonna Aqua Tail me, which isn't too bad. So Bulldoze comes off, we should be in good shape. And let's see what else. I'll take some extra damage. Here comes a Malamar, which has Malevolence. It's like the Reverse Intimidate. I kind of feel like I want to attack this thing. Um, what do I want to do? I kind of want to bulldoze it or hidden force it, but I kind of also want to save my intimidate. So you know what? I'm gonna go mirror and see what I can do here. He's gonna go over rock slide, okay? I can just fake out and then I'm gonna knock off. I think decent damage. Let's go for the knock off now. He's gonna rock slide again. No flinch is good. Knock off does decent amount. Nothing too crazy. I wonder if two shadow sneaks will KO from here. Uh, probably not. I get hypnosis, so that's kind of meh. Um, probably taking a rock slide here is what's about to happen. I don't really like this positioning. I can't really go into anything. Like, if I take a rock slide, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Maybe I go Liberty on a rock slide and then switch out if it goes for a dark. How do you make that prediction? Why did you go for a rock slide there? All right, well, Liberty's very long lived on the team, as you can see. Uh, that worked out super swell. Let's go for Felstinger and get the boost. I couldn't safely switch into any of my bugs there. The coverage move is real. And here comes a Golbat. It's Shiny Golbat. I'm Hidden Power Rock, aren't I? I'm YOLOing right now. Hidden Power or Hidden Force Rock with the Felstinger boost. And a nine tails. That's an ice nine tails. I think I one shot with poison sting. Yeah, B drive still doing it. Yo, don't sleep on B drive. So I lose Liberty, which is you know a prediction. It went for the the knockoff switch out. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a prediction. You're so strong, unexpectedly so, like father like son. I suppose you're quite the stupid kid for interfering with adult matters. It seems we have no choice but to retreat. Thank you so much. You saved us from those terrible goons. The gym leader. He left a few hours ago to train. Ah, he might be returning to the city anytime soon. Here, take this TM. We get TM return, and I guess I can just kind of infiltrate their garden, so I will. Oh wow, they sell different herbs in here too, which could be really useful, like power herb and stuff. And the gym is open. It's gotta be grass type, right? Let me face one trainer and just see, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely grass type. Set it out of shroomish. Okay, so grass type gym, I actually feel like I have probably one of the better matches, like matchups against, right? Like my team in general is good against grass types. So I'm gonna go to the PC. I'm gonna probably make some slight tweaks as I'm getting wrecked by the Shroomish right now. And uh, just make sure the team is, is uh, you know, tip top shape. But like I said, realistically, like that's probably one of the types I have the best matchup against is, is grass type. So, um, I mean, I have two bugs on my team. I have Flying Gyarados with Bounce. I have, you know, 
Just a good amount of stuff going on. There's a Snover. That would probably be like the biggest thing. Like even Pyre's really good. Um, so maybe mirror benches and I mean I don't have like a ton of fire types or anything, but I think I think we'll have it. I think we'll have what we need. So uh, let me go figure that out and then we're gonna take on the gym. Goodbye to you, Liberty. And I think Fun Guy might be one of the MVPs of this upcoming gym battle. Just picked up Spore, buff Leech Slave, and Crab Hammer, and it looks very, very cool. I think this guy is gonna be really good. Level 27 right now, Grass Bug, Adamant Nature, Effect Spore is super big. Look at that special defense stat, must be buffed. Leech Slave, Spore, Crab Hammer, and Absorb. We'll obviously give it an Absorb, but could be really, really good for us. All right, I think this is gonna be the squad for the gym. Uh, I think it's really good. I will say a grass rock Pokemon would be really scary for me, but I think we can work around it. And of course, you guys could let me know in the comment section below what your favorite grass type Pokemon is. Let me know what you're thinking. We get to battle a little Floed here. We should be able to beat this thing pretty easily. This is a grass type in this game. You see how much damage that is. And the fact that we have Spore is pretty cool too. I don't think it's gonna be useful in this gym, but just in general, I like it. And there's a Roselia. We should be able to beat this pretty easily. I will go into luck on this one. Uh, should be an easy win. But let me know your favorite grass type in the comments section below. Hopefully the team can put in the work here against this uh, grass type gym. All right, I think I'm ready. Welcome to the Gallia Gym, my challenger. My name is Jardin, and I am the leader of our grand gym. I've heard how you helped our elders against Team Arsenic while I was away. For that, I'm eternally grateful to you. But I don't consider you'd want to go any easier on you when you fight for my badge. Am I correct? And last case, let's start a beautiful spectacle. All right, Grass Gym, four Pokemon, leading things off with a Trevenant. That's a bit scary. He's got Grassy Surge as well. So I'll have a tough decision to make already here. Fungi is very good because he can heal off. So let's start with a Leech Life and see what he's gonna do. He's gonna Grassy Glide me. That's A-OK, -okay. that's really strong though. Grassy Glide Trevenant is actually really strong. But you notice how I healed all that back, so. I'm just gonna Leech Slave again. Here's another Grassy Glide. This is actually a really good lead for us because I just knock out the Trevenant and I'm doing just fine. So we'll take that start. Let's see what else you got. Here comes a Tropius. Now that is scary for a lot of reasons. Um, Pyre does have HP Ice. He wants a flying move here, I think. I think the play is Pyre and then HP Ice him. That's a, that's a Tropius. Oh, he's Dragon. He air cutters. Okay, so at least it's not stab. He doesn't crit me either, and I'll get healed here. I don't get healed. Okay, I'm gonna hit power ice. Hope for the best. Four times super effective. That did zero. Why did that do zero? And dragon breath paralyzes me. But I get cured of it with blaze. And he gets healed, but I don't. So they change grassy terrain in this. Okay, so he does have a flying move. He does have dragon breath. Let's see here. What do I think is my best way to one-shot him? I feel like B-Drive coming in and going for a bug bite here may KO, but I could put myself in a situation where I gotta take a big hit. Mirror could come in and stall him out a little bit and then save the opportunity for B-Drive to come in later. So let's try that. Let's go Mirror, maybe get a fake out off and then a knock off or something. Here comes the Dragon Breath. Mirror takes it okay. A really strong grassy terrain grass move here would be really bad for me though. I'm gonna fake out. And that does nothing. I need the terrain to be gone. Okay, it's still going. I'm gonna click knockoff here and hope I can live a hit. He does dragon breath again. We live it. I get the knockoff. Big damage and I get rid of a citrus berry, which is actually pretty big considering he could have harvest. And I activate my citrus berry, which is also big. Because now I could potentially live another hit. So I think I think the play is I go for knockoff again. He goes for Mega Drain. We actually lived. I did not expect to live that. And the grass is gone. Okay, that's what we were waiting for. Now we go into B Drive and set up for the Fell Stinger play, and hopefully he Mega Drains again because his health is low. Mega Drain. No para, please. Let's go. Fell Stinger time, baby. Fell Stinger time, baby! Here we go! All right, get the boost! Get the boost! All right, I set up for exactly what I wanted. This is so big, let's see. Two Pokemon left. Lomre, he probably has Fake Out, but I still think I Bug Buzz. 
or bug bite. He has fake out. Okay. The play here is bug bite, I think, all day. It's plus two. It should KO. Let's go. Give me a berry. I'm getting greedy right now. No berry. And what's your last? Breloom. Okay, Breloom's a little scary. Breloom's very scary, actually. I want to go Shrimp. I feel like he has Rock Tomb. That's my biggest concern right now. And that's why I want to go Shrimp. This is very sketchy. Um, this is very sketchy because obviously you think if I go for a plus two Bug Bite, I may KO. But if I do not KO because it's neutral for some reason, then I'm in a lot of trouble. So I think the play is I go Shrimp. I Intimidate. I hope he doesn't have a Rock move. He may Spore. I have some switches if I need them. Um, I think getting Intimidate off here is worthwhile. He has Mock Punch. I would have been fine. But you know what? I think it was the right decision because I do have Flying Gem Bounce. So let's bounce up. He's going to Grassy Glide. Doesn't matter because the terrain's not there. I think we're actually clear. And he goes for Spore. Weird turn priority there. Flying Gem boosted Bounce. I burned my Flying Gem. Wasn't needed. He actually is Sash. Uh, and I get Paralyzed. Let's go, dude. And he's going to knock himself out to Para. And I beat the gym. Let's go. Let's get it. Masterfully played. The Rose Badge is mine. I'm pretty proud of that one. I'm pretty proud of that one. I'm not going to lie. Let's get it, dude. The third gym badge, they can blossom up to level 35. So our level cap changes to 35. And we access Energy Ball now as well. So I got to say, listen, the bug types have been very clutch on the team so far, which has been a massive win. And I get through the gym without any casualties. We make it. So I'll take that win. I thought Mirror was going down. He hung in there. Fungi was massive. Shrimp came in at the end. B drive. Honestly, what can you say? I hope you enjoyed this one. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget to check out the online shopping tool extension in the description below. You install it for free. Five bucks goes on to the giveaway. We're going to have a massive giveaway. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.